let me just get right into it. Uh, I have selected Martha Montavo uh, to serve as Houston's interim chief of police. Uh, chief Montavo will serve until I make a decision on a permanent replacement for Chief McClellan, who is retiring at the end of next week. And as uh, we indicated earlier, Chief McClellan has served us uh, dutifully uh, for 39 for 39 years. Uh, and his final day will be on February 26th, and he will be, will be retiring. She is the, uh, Chief Montavo is the first Hispanic and the second female to hold the position. Chief Montavo has 35 years of service with HPD. Most recently, she has worked as Chief McClellan's Chief of Staff, providing administrative support while also having direct supervision over 128 officers and 60 civilians in five divisions at HPD. Chief Mantavo has a wealth of experience that will serve the department and the citizens of Houston well. She also understands that all city departments will need to share the sacrifice in balancing the budget for the coming fiscal year. I look forward to working with her on the solutions that would generate the cost savings we need without impacting the police protections our citizens deserve. Uh, Chief, uh, Chief Montavo started as a beat cop in May of 1980. Uh, that was the same year I graduated from law school. Uh, she, she progressed through the ranks of sergeant, lieutenant, captain, and assistant chief of police. She coordinated the development and implementation of the crime analysis system enhancement GIS mapping system that is still in use today. She oversaw implementation of several technology upgrades. She served as incident commander for the 2004 Major League Baseball All-Star Game and the 2006 NBA uh, uh, All-Star Game as well. She received a Bachelor's of Science degree from the University of Houston downtown. That kind of influenced me as well. <laughs> and a Master's of Science, go Cougs, and a Master's of Science degree from Sam Houston State University. But you will also find when you look at, at um, um, her background, her husband is a police lieutenant in HPD. Her son is a rookie officer at the Central Patrol. Her brother-in-law is a police sergeant. Her cousin is a police officer who works in North Patrol. Her nephew is a Harris County constable. And she just has a background and a family history of law enforcement. And so it is, I am privileged as the mayor of the city of Houston uh, to name as the interim police chief for the city of Houston, uh, Chief Martha Montalvo. First of all, let me say that I am very honored um, that I've been given this opportunity to serve as interim chief. So thank you very much, you Mayor. Uh, as, as the mayor stated, uh, I do have a family that is very involved uh, with the Houston Police Department. So therefore, I'm very invested in ensuring that as long as I'm interim, that we continue um, to ensure that the officers continue their exemplary professionalism and that we continue to be transparent and accountable to the community that we serve. Uh, I would be very remiss if I didn't mention Chief McClellan. He has done an exemplary job. Um, he is also one of the most honorable individuals that I know. Uh, he has been my mentor, and I consider him my friend. Uh, but the most important thing is that because of his mentoring, I am more than prepared for the challenges that I'm going to be facing as interim police chief. So, Mayor, City Council members, I look forward to working with all of you. I understand that there are uh, challenges ahead of us, and I'm ready to get to work. Thank you. I, too, again, want to take the time to, to thank Chief McClellan uh, for his service of 39 years. Um, one thing he and I have talked about is that he is retiring, but he has left HPD in good hands. Uh, we have a good force uh, of 53, roughly 5,300 police officers. We have fewer than what we need, 
um, but we're certainly maximizing what we have as we continue to build the numbers up uh, within HPD. Having said that, I'll stop and take uh, whatever uh, questions you may have. Chair, can you describe the uh, search process timeline, uh, what, what you're looking for, and, and whether disappointment means that Chief Montalvo has any better shot than any other candidate? Well, the, there is a, a search committee that's already in place. Uh, I have not given them a timeline other than to find the best person possible uh, for, for HPD. And uh, they are doing their search. They are looking from within as well as outside. Uh, but the number one criteria is to find the best police chief and to recommend that uh, and to take the time to, in order to do that. Can you tell us what, it was, what is it about Chief Montalvo that made you choose her? Well, number one, uh, she is an excellent police officer. That's number one. Credentials galore. You're, you're gonna, it's going to be very difficult to find anyone, uh, certainly within HPD, that have the credentials that can match the credentials of Chief Montavo. Uh, 35 years, and as I indicated, she has come up through the ranks, sergeant, captain, lieutenant, assistant uh, chief, um, already supervising over 120 people right now, uh, being in charge of five divisions right now. Uh, when it comes to technology, and I think if I read, for example, the Houston Chronicle, they were talking about, you know, a police chief and the importance of technology. Certainly, she comes with that, with that, with that experience. Uh, and then she's worked very closely with Chief McClellan. And when you, uh, one is retiring, she's worked directly, shoulder to shoulder, with him. And when you're looking at transitioning from one to another, and you want to maintain the continuity, and to make sure that the people in the city uh, are kept safe and HPD is, continues to function extremely well, uh, quite frankly, there could not be a better choice. Um, so um, the credentials speak for themselves, and that's why I had no qualms at all uh, in naming Chief Montavo to be the interim police chief of HPD. If I could follow up on that uh, mm -hmm. other item from earlier, you know, Chief McClellan was named acting chief in 2010 and became permanent chief. Um, does this disappointment mean that Chief Montalvo has any better shot um, than any other candidate in the search process? Well, right now, and the only thing that I'm dealing with right now is the, the position uh, chief is retiring on February 26, and I, and I need this department to continue to move very smoothly. I'm going to let the process play out and try not to get ahead of uh, the, uh, the uh, team that's, re, um, that's doing the, the search right now. So I'm going to let them do their job for right now I needed to do mine. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you all for, for, for being here. And Chief Montavo, uh, you, you retire on February 26th at 12.01 a.m. I shall call you. <laughs> I have a meeting on February 26 at 5 o'clock. I shouldn't have to work past 4 o'clock. I reserve comment on that. I, I only respond to you know, questions like that from the press. So, uh, <laughs> but look, thank you all for, ha for, for coming. But I, look, I'm, I'm excited for the city of Houston. Quite frankly, I'm excited for HPD. I think it's, it speaks well for the city, the fourth largest city in the, in the country, to be able to have the personnel already available where you can have the continuity and you don't have to have the major uh, interruptions. I think that speaks positively about the city of Houston and the people and the men and women uh, that are working for HPD.